Today I'm going to show you a very simple Excel trick that can save you a lot of time. It's the name box. Instead of referring to cells like C7 or D7, we can assign meaningful names to those cells and use the names directly in our formulas. On this sheet, I have the revenue for 2024 stored in cell C7. To name this cell, I click on the cell, then go to the name box in the top left corner of Excel. I type Revenue 2024 and press Enter. There are a few important rules when naming cells. You cannot use special characters. You cannot include spaces, so either write words together or use an underscore. The name cannot start with a number. And it cannot duplicate an existing Excel function or a cell reference. Now I will do the same for 2025. I select cell D7, type Revenue 2025 in the name box and press Enter. Now that the cells are named, I can use these names anywhere in the workbook. For example, on another sheet, I can type equals revenue 2024 and the value will appear instantly. I no longer need to remember which sheet the value was on or which cell it was in. I can also perform calculations using the names. For example, to calculate the total revenue for 2024 and 2025, I simply type equals revenue 2024 plus revenue 2025 and press enter. This makes formulas much easier to read and understand. If I want to review or edit the names I've created, I go to the formulas tab and choose name manager. Here I can rename, change the cell reference, or delete a name if I no longer need it. Using the name box is a simple trick, but it can make your Excel formulas more readable, more organized, and easier to maintain. Try naming your important cells and see how much cleaner your work becomes.